Hello everybody, this is Toys R Us and for this new figure unboxing and review we're going to be looking at the third party, Just Toys. This is their interpretation of the world's smallest transformer, Shockwave. So they're calling him Military Operations Commander and that's because Just Toys are a third party toy company um, and they didn't have the official licenses like the official Takara world's smallest transformers. So as you can see, this is pretty well, it is brand new, it's still in cellophane. We can see there what he's going to look like. So what I'm going to do with this video, we're going to unbox him live in a second. There is the world's smallest transformer robots. These are probably more famous for making the world's smallest Dinobots, to be honest, which I've done a few videos on this channel and indeed we'll bring them out for some comparisons later on. So, yeah, that is what we're going to be doing with this video. So I'm going to unbox him right now because I can't wait to get this guy out and actually put him on display. Um, we're going to have a real detailed look at him in both of his modes. We're going to do some comparisons with him and the original shockwave toy which i don't even know is going to fit in the same frame because he's so much taller and indeed a few other shockwaves as well as well as i suppose some comparison or display ideas with other world's smallest transformers and indeed as i've just mentioned with some of the just toys dinobots so there is the box let's just quickly just see if i can pan in and out a little bit more and let's have a look inside then so it's still all sealed um and as i say i pretty much open unless it's a g1 vintage figure now i pretty much open all of these mainly because i just want to see them and i want to have a play and see how well he displays why there you go there he is inside that packaging what i am going to do this time though is what's that huge hand for it's like a bruticus hand oh holding shockwave of course of course it's a bruticus hand that's an amazing homage right what i am going to do though is i'm just going to very quickly pause the video and come straight back to you with him taken out of this right then we're back and as you can see i've took him out of the packaging and i'm resting him on the bruticus hand which of course completely stunned me you probably could tell by my voice and it's got that's going to be brilliant to do what a great little i suppose bonus that is and i'm hoping that i can do this little guy some justice because he's brilliant i'm going to show you some comparisons in a second i mean from the detailing down to the hose to all the detailing on the molding the molding is identical to the g1 figure and i'm going to show you that in a second right down to the fact we've got the translucent purple sensor scope at the top it's just stunning it really is i mean hopefully as i say i can do some justice on just how small this is i'm going to try and do a really good comparison with the original now with the original i've got the feet folded out just so it would balance it obviously wouldn't be like that but hopefully that'll give you an idea there of just how much well just how small it is but exactly what i was saying about the detail and if we have a look at this look at the silver on the handle there and look at the silver there exactly the same mold markings right down to this purple bit there before the barrel exactly the same mold markings there all the details down the side of the barrel the translucent scope at the back it's just it's just stunning even the trigger works as well it really is exactly you know what they're going for and as i say this is a third party version takara haven't made one of these yet and the good thing is it looks like they've sorted their scaling out and what i mean by that and i'll show you and maybe you'll know this but if you've not seen any of the just toys world smallest dinobots there's videos of these on this channel and again these are brilliant they're exact replicas of the generation one figures and they transform exactly the same so the only thing with this is they were just a little bit too big they were scaled too big but they seem to have really fixed that and worked it out and um, if i show you what i mean there's world's smallest optimus and of course i'll show you them in robot mode as well in a second and there's world's smallest side swipes they were just a little too small whereas shockwave now seems to have been completely um yeah they've got the scaling right is what i'm trying to say so let's move these out of the way and i can't wait to do this uh this is going to be brilliant so that's obviously a bruticus hand i've got a bruticus here ready and um, of course this is from the cartoon and it did take me a couple of seconds to realize that obviously let's see it looks like it's going to fit now oh i was going to say this is obviously brand new i've not done anything with this so hopefully it'll work as well as i want it to amazing 
amazing. There we go. So you've got Bruticus, excuse the dust on blast off, but he is holding, aiming, and that just works. Brilliant. I love it when they do things like this. I had no idea that fist was in this packet. Couldn't tell from the box. Um, that's just really made my day. It's brilliant. I'm actually considering keeping it in that mode just for display purposes, to be honest. I mean, there you go. Right, let's take him out because I want to show you the robot mode. So this is going to be very interesting heart in mouth because, of course, these are so small. And the great thing about them is, as I was just explaining, they do replicate the original G1 transformation process. So let's have a go at this then. So let's take the barrel off. Perfect. Look, even that's translucent plastic, exactly the same as the G1. I'm going to fold this back. Now, I think the best thing to do would be to separate these. This is, you see, this is why I don't always do the transformation processes on camera, because sometimes I don't, sometimes I've got to be honest, sometimes I've broken a figure, especially a brand new one, because the movement in them is, of course, so new or so fragile, and especially with things like these right okay so he's got a red eye and that must be the only thing that allowed them i'm going to say allowed them to perhaps get away with this figure because obviously it's not an official takara so it's got to have a subtle difference and of course or a slight difference shall we say and the slight difference for this is he's got a red eye instead of the g1 toy yellow they've gone with the red eye that you would see <gasps> honestly i'm probably trembling here now he's gone with the red eye like they do in the movie. So if I can separate the legs and if I can just slide this over. Uh, apologies, as I say, this is probably not making the greatest video. I should have perhaps t uh, stopped it to transform me, but I know that a lot of people, especially with these, because as I said, they're just groundbreakingly good. Right, what I'm gonna try just to help me is to use this to slide it. Is it gonna work? Yes, it is. Brilliant. So all I'm doing is I'm just giving it a teensy bit of assistance. I'm not damaging or cutting it. I'm just, there we go. But that's the thing, because they're so small. I mean, the engineers on this are genius because it's just so, so intricate, so clever even. There we go. So I've managed to push the legs back. The toes as well will fold out. And as you can see, and anybody who knows who has this G1 mold, it's an exact replica. The transformation process is exactly the same. Let's just pull the antenna up. Wow. And I suppose for people who don't collect these or who don't collect G1 or are only collecting at the moment, newer figure, shall we say, this is the latest version of Shockwave from the Legacy Core class lineup, and he's only up to his waist. Right, can I zoom in with this and give you a bit of a better idea? Look, there you go. That's how small he is. So there's your Core class Shockwave compared to the world's smallest. Crazy. So with regard to some other shockwaves, let's bring this back down a little bit. Um, I've got a deluxe class here from Fall of Cybertron. So this guy's gonna tower him. Um, there's loads of other core class shockwaves to be honest, but this one's probably gonna be this, the craziest. Is he gonna stand, is he gonna fit in shot? Just just about is it going to fall over please don't fall over that gives you an idea again of just how um small he is so let's have a quick look look at it detail brilliant translucent plastic on the front translucent plastic on the arms and the hands same detail all the way down the side of the leg see the molding defect there not molding defect the molding detail and then on the springs Everything is just absolutely perfect. It doesn't have the Decepticon logo on the front, but I pretty much know you can obviously get them really easily. That is a stunning, stunning little figure. So again, this is what I mean about the Just Toys scale. I suppose actually this is a good idea to give you a scale of some modern toys. I've just got him lying around. So there you go. Right. So again, I'll just put Sludge up for a second and Grimlock just to show you that these are quite big. But then, in fact, what I might have to do is if I pan out and I'm going to zoom in because these are going to be 
all nice and small. So let's get some of these. These are the official Takara released world smallest transformers and you can see the scaling is now perfect with regards to these guys i've put in with some autobots i don't know why let's move the autobots over if you want to see any of these guys in more detail just type in world smallest transformers to this search bar and you'll see all of these so starscream is about the right height megatron who's so fiddly and he's just typically decided to fall apart i mean as soon as i pick him up is there as well is he going to even balance? I'll rest him against side so Oh, no. But, yeah, there you go. That's how small he is. That's how detailed they are. These figures are simply stunning. The only problem with them, let's be honest, is it's another rabbit hole to go down. If you want to start collecting them, there is official Takara World Smallish Transformers. And there is this guy, Just Toys. So you can see, I'll just show you the robot there again. So there's the Just Toys logo. WST, World Smallest, they've changed it to Robots because Takara is, of course, World Smallest Transformers. Anyway, I think that's where I'm going to wrap it up because I'm going to keep him in that mode. I'm going to put him up on display. So I hope you enjoyed looking at him. Um, I hope as well it educated you a little bit into maybe these, these amazing little figures that perhaps you didn't even know existed. It doesn't even fit, does it? Perfect. Anyway, there you go. Let me know what you think. Are you interested in them? Do you collect them yourselves? Um, and let me know in the comments. Thanks very much for watching, guys. Take care.